Hello everybody and welcome to another product review video and today we're going to talk about Monuments Pro Sable brushes. Uh, these have become some of my favorite brushes and used a heck of a lot in my rotation so let's head over to the desk and actually uh, see these brushes and see them in practice. Uh, the strict technomancer that is Vinci V. Let us get to the technique and learn it Vinci V style. All right, so here's the Monument Pro Sable brushes. Uh, when you order the pack, you get uh, size 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, the pack is $56 for all five brushes, so not too bad. Basically a little more than sort of $11 a brush or something around that, that area. Uh, the brushes themselves have, I would say, a medium amount of snap. Snap is just the nature of like the brush and how it responds and bends. Some watercolor, more traditional sable hair brushes are quite bendy and floppy. Some are really, really taut. Uh, it just has to do with, I, I suppose, the exact hair is used for the brush. Uh, I, I don't know what exactly causes the difference, but I can certainly tell it. Uh, this is right in my wheelhouse. I love a medium snap. This is probably along the lines of something like a Raphael 8404, uh, if you're familiar with that brush. I feel like the snap there is about the same. Uh, quality of them is very high. I've been very impressed. Um, all of these brushes have logged some serious hours, and I still have good tips on them. Uh, they're actually made in Germany, and uh, Monument and Jason work directly with... Uh, the brush manufacturers who make both their synthetics and their sables uh, to make sure they get a good high quality and you can tell that in the construction. Uh, these things hold a tip for quite a long while. Uh, I find them being a very regular part of my painting and really haven't had any complaints with them. Uh, even going up to the size 3 and 4, uh, they'll hold quite a, a tip for a while. Uh, so not really an issue there. I've logged, mm, I don't know, dozens and dozens of hours on each of these brushes honestly except for the size four so far and still get a nice solid tip out of them uh still get lots of usage uh let's see them actually in practice so here we're going to use the size three on a little goblin and as you can see get nice smooth application um, when i talk about the snap that's kind of the brush how much it bends and how it's responding to your your touch there uh, so overall, nice, easy application, works fine, very, you know, very comfortable in the hand. Uh, and as you can see there, I just, I like the way it's sort of uh, responding in. It bends just enough. It doesn't go all floppy on me. It stays pretty, pretty reasonable. Uh, and that's with the size three, so no issue there at all. Uh, if we talk about getting some real sharp, thin lines, let's take a look here at our size one. And uh, if we just mix up a little bit of a brighter color there so we can see the difference nice and strong on camera. Uh, you can see that we can very easily Get those lines nice and sharp where we would want them. So no issue there at all. Easy control. And like I said, the real value of these to me is, you know, $56 for for five brushes. If you haven't bought, you know, sort of sables before, that might seem kind of expensive. That I think that's actually quite reasonable. Oftentimes you're paying anywhere from sort of $12 to, to $20 for sables. So getting five for 56 is certainly within the realm of reason in the in the modern world. Um, and their durability is what's really impressed me. I've used these so much, and they really stood out. Uh, so overall, I absolutely give them an A rating. Uh, I think that if you're looking to pick up some some sable brushes, you could do a lot, lot worse. Um, these are going to be a good investment. They get You get a good selection of sizes, and they're going to last you a good long while with proper care. I just clean them with standard uh, brush soap uh, when I'm done with a session, They uh, and they've stayed in great shape. Uh, for, for just dozens, if not hundreds of hours of use uh, over the past year or so. So couldn't recommend them enough. Check them out. Uh, link will be down below. But uh, yeah, there you go. That's, that's the Monument Pro Sables. 
So there you go. Like I said, overall, these are definitely an A. If you're looking for a good Sables, you could do a lot worse. Um, they're high quality, they're durable, and overall, they're a great price. So I really like them. Uh, link is down below. Uh, give this a like if you liked it. Subscribe for additional reviews and hobby cheating and everything else related to it in the future. Uh, if you want to support the channel, don't forget there's a Patreon down below uh, focused on helping you take your next step in your hobby journey. But as always, I thank you so much for watching this one, and we'll see you next time.